Our bodies are designed for movement, but given our modern day lifestyle, we often stay still for long periods of time. Well, today we have Dr. Leslie Leung, orthopedic surgeon at Glen Eagles Hospital to talk us through some of the consequences. Thank you, Dr. Leung, for being here. Uh, let's kick up this discussion with neck and back. Now, in this day and age, we're always on our devices, such as our laptops, our phones, our iPads, and all that stuff. Now, how is that going to impact our posture in the long run? Well, I think the problem is that a lot of people hunch over. So over time, the muscles behind your back, they become weak. Uh, you're unable to maintain a straight posture when you stand. Over time, the neck muscles, the back muscles, they get stretched. The discs are, are loaded in an unnatural manner. They can cause the disc to rupture. You can also end up with a slip disc and that can then pinch on the nerves and they may then complain of pain shooting down their hands or their legs and experience a numbness, tingling sensation and pins and needles. Okay, let's talk about standing desk. That seems to be like the new solution uh, for better posture at the workplace. In your opinion, what do you think? Well, so when I think that's a good idea, the standing desk is a step in the right direction. At least it gets patients to be out of their chairs to move around. But again, uh, it will depend on how they place the equipment on the standing desk. If they do not place it correctly, then they could end up hunching over the desks as well. Let's talk about travel, because everybody is travelling so much these days from long haul to short haul. Either way, it's not good to be sitting down for an extended time. So can you give us some tips as to how we can manage and cope with that? Well, I think the problem with long haul flights a lot of times is patients will sit in the chairs glued to the computer screens or they sleep. The spine is not used to that kind of load, especially if you happen to be sitting in the economy class seat. Other issues that can happen besides the back is if you're sitting there for long periods is deep vein thrombosis. You could get blood clots in the veins of your legs and that's also known as the economy class syndrome. So I think the first thing to prevent them in the first place is every hour or so, every two hours, try and get out of your seat, walk up and down the aisles, do your stretches or ask the airline to provide an extra cushion, extra blanket that it can use to customise your seat for you. Um, that is very interesting, you know, how we see people carrying pillows and everything around and it's actually not a bad thing. Mm -hmm. um, with lower back, it seems to be like the most common um, ache or the most common injury. People like me, I, you know, I'm wondering whether I should do yoga or I should do Pilates. So what do you recommend? Well, generally, uh, as a Western doctor, we would tend to send patients for Pilates. Uh, they have been trained a specific uh, way to manage this condition and they will know what exercises to do. I have no objections to yoga and I think it's a good activity to engage in. However, I think if patients do have a back problem, they do have a pinched nerve, they should let the yoga trainer know about it, who can then advise on what specific exercises to do or what exercises to avoid. Thank you, Dr. Leon, for being here. really appreciate your time. Thank, Thank you, Suen. Well, now we've learned what to do and what not to do from Dr. Leslie Leong. Watch out for more videos on sports health brought to you by Glen Eagles Hospital.